There's a price we pay for beauty Most these girls be in too deep Don't try to make it too hot Perfect just the way you are You are Good morning. I was just in one of those moves where I just really didn't feel like talking. I don't know. I was kind of abruptly woken up out of my sleep. So sometimes that can be a factor. But anyways, let's get into it. <clears throat> Am I here? No, I'm fine. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Lee. For those who don't know me, my name is Ashley. Welcome back to my channel, my YouTube. We have another video. Um, today is Saturday. And just a quick disclaimer. Pause that. Hello, Governor. Okay. I said, hello, Governor. Oh, sorry, Dad. What do you mean don't stop that? What do you mean, man? All right, listen, listen, listen. You need to be looking on TikTok, and I'm going to be looking on TikTok, and we're going to come together in about 30 minutes. I just need to jump in the shower real quick, and then we're going to figure this out. All right. Okay. But start looking, please. You laughing and kicking, and I'm being for real. I got you. I'm gonna look the same. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna cry when I got the shower. Uh -huh. Okay. LOL. That's funny that he called because he hates when I do my accents. But I was literally just about to give y'all a disclaimer that I'm in one of those kind of moods, also, where it's like, be prepared. I don't know if I have a disorder, but. I don't know, like my accents, they change up, if you haven't noticed by now. Um, my personality is from like silly and goofy to like mad serious, kind of spicy. So just enjoy the ride, okay? I'm giving you raw, uncut, you know what I'm saying? Just vibe, so just vibe. We trying to figure out what we about to eat today. And um it's giving a healthy taste video. You're welcome. I know I still haven't showed y'all my date video from when I went out with that girl, but, um, you know, I was trying to get back into the groove of things, but I didn't bring any of like my lighting or anything. So I just felt like the food, you couldn't really see the food for real. Like I also didn't want to be that girly who's like got lights all in people's faces while they're trying to enjoy their food and stuff. But at the same time, I'm trying to be more selfish. Like, seriously, and not in like a bad way, but just in a way of like, I come first. I love me first. Okay. And me includes my son. So I feel like I'm being selfish for the both of us because it benefits the both of us. You feel me? So we going to get this content. We going to keep trying. I'm going to get right. And I'm, I'm trying to swallow that. I don't give a pill. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't care. So, yeah, um, trying to work on that smacking out the TV, y'all. I promise you, I am. Um, what is, it's definitely time for a fill-in. I'm going to see if I could try to finesse my wins and go into the nail shop with him today, too. But he hates going to the nail shop with me because, for one, my nails always take forever. Hold on. Even though it don't be feeling like or seeming like it's going to be that long or it should take that long. That's what happens. We're always in there forever. Then he's been complaining that he feels like um his manicure is not lasting as long. And we don't like that for us. Because now you're messing up the sponsorship. Okay. I need y'all to tighten up and lock in before I tweak out. I'm going to jump in the shower real quick. I had got a wax yesterday. So, you know, you got to wait your 24 hours. Just like the lashes. So, BRB. I'm back. <clears throat> okay. 
I don't know if I want to start off and get my outfit together or if I want to start my face and my hair. I'm thinking my face and my hair because I have no clue what I want to wear. The weather feels great outside, but I still don't know what I want to wear. <sighs> All right, I put some moisturizer on. We're going to get into it with this facial priming setting spray that I got from Marshalls. Mm -hmm. And y'all know not too much. I'm just kind of powder set up. I have to just do my makeup like this and talk to y'all. But anyway, so... <clears throat> Let's get into Mama's um dating life and what's been going on with that, right? Because <laughs> every time I, I, well, clearly I don't have my Instagram right now, but when I was putting up questions and posts on my Instagram, a lot of questions that come back usually have to do with like my dating and dating in Atlanta. For me, right now, I'm single. I am dating. And when I say dating, I mean literally going on dates. Like, I'm not sexually active with anybody right now. You got that? You got that? Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm calling it right now. Um, I feel like I have been doing a lot of growing and I had to kind of sit back and really evaluate what be going on with these dudes. Cause like, the people who follow me, on Instagram and I've had my little TED Talks on live where I talk about the dude with the nine kids and Paul supposedly he doesn't really have nine kids at this point I can't keep up who lies about kids right but yeah so I just really had to take a step back to reevaluate what was really going on and what am I allowing and why am I allowing certain things and it really just boiled down to the fact that I didn't realize how much of daddy issues I have until like just recently. I have to say like my dad is a bad dad. My dad was in my life. He's a great man. Um, but I really feel like a lot of times he picked his religion over us. When I say that I mean in the sense of like well sometimes when you just need a hug, you know what I'm saying? Like as a as a woman, as a female in a house full of other females, just like it can get a little catty. And sometimes you just need to hug your all these emotions and stuff and you spazzing out or whatever it is at school, boys, whatever the case may be. And he will kind of just dismiss everything and, you know, always just like, oh, that's the devil. That's the devil. Or, I rebuke you. Like I grew up with a lot of anxiety attacks and panic attacks. My anxiety was through the wall to the point where I had to take medication and stuff. Um, and that's a whole nother story time too. Like in high school, my mom sent me to a mental institute because like I was tweaking. But like I said, another time, another another place, okay? All that to say though, I feel like my daddy did the best that he could. He's not a very emotional person. He would always tell me, and I've told y'all this before, Ashley, you gotta control your emotions. And it's very hard for me to do that. But the older I'm getting, I'm learning different ways that it's possible. But yeah, long story short, I just feel like I have hella daddy issues. Um, times where I just wanted that love and affection from my daddy. I feel like I'm chasing and, and trying to force it with these guys. And I feel like it shouldn't have to be all that. So I'm trying to learn to appreciate the people I do have in my life, the people who are in my corner where it's not forced. And But also take my time with it and just, you know, keep dating myself, get to know me as I'm getting older, as I'm maturing, I'm growing you know, I'm not the same person I was a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, et cetera, et cetera. So that's where I'm at with it. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like dating me is not for the weak. I feel like a lot of people like the idea of me. They like how I look. They like, like they, they see the fun side of it. You know, the personalities, the the accents, um, the attention I get. But when it's time to really get through the thick of it, that's when, you know, I, I just see, like, my mugs don't really be there like that for real. I always feel like I don't have no one to call, like, when I'm really going through some stuff. 
I always feel like my, you know, I gotta figure it out. Cause nine times out of ten, you give a problem to a man, and instead of having a solution, like I was told, you're supposed to have, it's another problem. You add it to the problem. Like that, what, what was the point of that? I could have called one of my homegirls for that. And at this point, I'm better off calling one of my homegirls because they gonna have a solution before y'all do. Which is another reason why, you know, I had to lock the box up because it's just like I'm not gonna keep. Giving myself to people and y'all can't be there for me emotionally, spiritually, mentally, anything of that nature. What are we doing? Like when I'm really feeling down and low, where are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to find a happy medium to balance. I'm trying not to like take too much of in, input of what other people have to say because everybody works with how it works. You know what works for them. Oh, can you talk? Okay. But yeah. But yeah, I'm dating right now. Um, I don't really talk to the girl like that. Like every blue moon, she might hit me up like, hey, let's go on a date. Okay. You know, you got to like concentrate when you're doing the eyebrows because they kind of look like cousins and not really like sisters. But you know what? Let me know what my face looks like. You know, he knows what. I'm going to have to go back. Girl, stop smacking. Oh, no. I'm going to have to go back probably tomorrow to see if I can get my eyebrows touched up because bad bang. That's just going to have to do. Mm -hmm. But anywho. So... Yeah, I, I feel like dating me is not for the week. I feel like I'm at this stage in my life now where you got maybe like one week to kind of show me like, kind of like to set the foundation for like how we about to be moving. And after that one week, that's when like the spiciness started to come out because it's like at this point, stop playing with me. You know what I'm saying? Like you chased me down or you wanted my attention or you asked for my time of day. Do not play with me. Do not waste my time. Like I do not like that at all. I'm one of those type of people, once once that side of me comes out, there's no turning back. And you know, guys love to be like, I miss, I miss, I miss, I miss. Yeah, I bet you do. I bet you do. I miss her too, but she's gone. And lately, I don't know. I don't know if it's because I'm getting closer to 30 as well. Like I turned 30 this year, which I can't believe I'm saying that. Um, I just feel like I'm not going to keep playing with y'all. I've let people walk over me. I've let people make me look stupid. I've allowed all type of foolishness. And I just like, I'm at the point where I'm cutting straight to the point. We ain't gonna keep beating around this bush. Not this one. Go find you another bush to beat. The man that I'm going out with today, um, he's been around for a little bit. Um, we had a little falling out after his birthday. Um, some of y'all know, some of y'all don't know, but I had a car accident on Christmas morning. It was raining, I hydroplaned and I smacked into a curb. And it totaled out my car. And um, his birthday is like, I want to say the second week of January. Like, I was like right after New Year's because I was in Miami for New Year's. And when I got back, that that following, um, like that weekend and that following week was his birthday. I still didn't have a car at that time. And as difficult as it is, like I was asking about rentals, trying to get help from everybody. I even asked him about rentals. Um, and you know, he was like, he was gonna get back to me this and her life, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I didn't make it for his birthday, and he felt type of way about it, which I told him, you're more than welcome to feel type of way about it. I tried to while I could and while I had the time, and I didn't have August, and I could do what I could do. He, I guess, just wasn't in the mood to really partake or do anything. I don't know. Well, I feel like communication is a big thing. And I will say that this man is definitely trying to do better. All right, cool. So I got my man back, okay? I really want him to figure out what we're going to eat because usually nine times out of ten is me on TikTok looking at different stuff and send it to him to be like, let's try here, let's try here. And she's like, can you come up with one? He's the type of guy, though, where if you mention something, 
to him like oh next time I really want to go here I really want to do this the next time we bring up like what we doing what we doing he will be like let's go and he'll bring it to place that you mentioned I love that about him like I love that because he's attentive okay he's attentive and I love that it's a little bit too much power on that side. Still the daytime girly. I'm very appreciative of this man. I just think, I think for me, that sometimes he can be a little bit too nonchalant. And with my personality, sometimes I need to be checked. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I need you to put me in my place. Like, okay, that, that spice, I understand you feeling spicy right now, but you need to calm down a little bit. So he said he left when I get a little rowdy, when I be popping my ish, and I be talking smack a little bit. But I need for him to get a little more aggressive. Not where it's like, but you know, just aggressive and put somebody, some sternness to you. You know, maybe, maybe you gotta, I don't know, cause I don't like being grabbed up. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just like, if you know, you know, right? See, I told him to go ahead and pick out or try to find something. I guarantee this man is not on TikTok looking at where we could eat. I guarantee that when I call him back, it's gonna have to be me trying to figure out what we about to go eat. Would I be wrong for putting on the same outfit that I had on for the date that I had with the girl, but I never posted it, so you know what I'm saying? Would I be wrong? Now let's figure out what we're doing with this hair. Change the battery. Came out here to see what it's looking like. I'm still baking. They're not bad. I'm trying to do better with looking in the lens instead of looking at myself in this sort of little thing right here. But it's just like I want to make sure that it looks clear for one. I feel like I'm still trying to learn how to work this camera. Bro, I just had to change my battery twice. Apparently, the one I thought was charged is not fully charged. It, like, okay. <laughs> Y'all, I'm trying. I'm trying. Now, I need to call this man back so he can see that I'm I'm actually like almost done getting ready. And let's see if he actually looked up something for what, like I said, because watch this. Uh -huh. 
I know you're going to answer this wrong. That man better be in the shower. That man better be in that shower. That's why he not answering my call. You see what I'm saying now? I mean, I don't want to be one of them type of girlies, but like stuff like this be making me feel like seeing mm 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 mm. Cause I'm the type. If my man calls me every time he calls me, I don't care if I'm asleep. Maybe I'm answering. I'm gonna answer and I expect the same type, like, like that same energy back. I want the same energy back, bro. It's two seconds to be like, bad. I'm busy. Bad, I'm gonna call you right back. Bad. Like, I mean, anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, anything. At this one, I don't care to clarify nothing up either. Cause I just feel like with my energy, you gonna know. You know what I'm saying? You gonna know how I'm rocking, how I'm coming. Like, if I'm rocking with you or not, you gonna know. He, he show up when he's supposed to and I, I rocks with that because a lot of people don't show up at all um <clears throat> excuse me I just need him to work on that like more like assertiveness maybe that's the word I'm looking for I'm okay call me back because I just knew you was lying uh huh uh huh and I called twice. I called back to back. I said, this fool better be busy. He better be in the shower. He better be doing something. Not answering my call. Oh, no. But I'm almost done getting ready. Um, If you don't want me talking in my British accent, you better have found us a place to eat. You talking. Oh, say less, love. Say less. <laughs> Okay, so why you not on TikTok right now? Why don't I see you scrolling? You know you got free phone. So like, are we totally against the nail shop today? I said, are we totally against the nail shop today? Oh, it's Saturday. And? Not necessarily. Hear me out. Hear me out. Right? Um. We'll, we'll just leave it to a we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. I'm gonna just let you keep looking and you let me know what you think. <laughs> I forgot if I knew. <laughs> huh? You said what? I said I'm gonna try something new another time. Oh my gosh, here you go. It depends on what we do though. It depends on Here you go. Wherever we go, you need to try something new and just have something like, if you don't like it, then send it back and then go for something you would normally go for. But you still should try something new, nigga. You need to live life. Atlanta, I've been seeing Weezy floating around the internet and I had to get- I ain't, listen, I ain't gonna force it. <laughs> I appreciate you picking something, okay? I'm still looking for Okay. I appreciate you at least at least looking. One thing you gonna find you is a place with some lamb chops though. <laughs> <laughs> you love your place with some lamb chops though. That's crazy, twin. Oh no. That boy can't get enough of them round chops. Hey, hello, of course, somebody called me. Okay. You see what I'm saying? He's a good man, Savannah. <laughs> this is what I freak here be telling me. Oh. 
Either way it goes, y'all, I'm determined to get this content, so we're going to get it one way or another. And I'm really just going to try to give it to you as raw as possible. Um, you know, no sugar coating, no glitz and clamp. Like, just give it to y'all real. Like, when I'm really in the mood of, like, I don't feel good or I'm not in the mood, y'all going to know what I'm feeling. Energized, heavy, all that good stuff, y'all going to know. Like, I'm going to just keep it a book with y'all like I've been doing. And just, you know, really let y'all see me. Hello, Governor. I'm at it too. Huh? I'm at it too. Why? Because I was good. You was, hold on, hold on, hold on. Your phone broke up, which means you talking about your BS. So many errands to run, I just keep putting them off because every time I get off work, I be tired as the fuck. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you when I'm on my way. Okay. And, um, yeah, and we're gonna talk, bro. Okay. Love you. Love you. Love you. Bye. My little accessory zone. Thank you. You know, I really like when you tell me that. <laughs> Chanelica. Chanelica. Which glasses should I put on? The bottom one's the right. This one? Yeah. <sighs> I don't know what this little piece right here is doing, but girl, whatever. I, I'm gonna fix it before I go to work tonight, but <laughs> this is how we look in. She's cute. She's cute. Me, so let's go. I gotta figure out some kind of way to um prop up my phone from when I'm in the car. I mean, not my phone, my uh camera roll, my camera roll from when I'm in the car. We finna go be on the way to this man. Go pick him up. My I need some gas, so that's perfect. I really need a car wash, but I ain't gonna wax them like that, not today. My shades on now. Okay, we're off. Oh, wait. Oh, y'all dare wrong for letting me walk out the house with no lip gloss. Oh no, oh no. I'll be right back, hold on. But you know what I also don't like? Just because I walk in the nightlife, right? I hate when I have missed calls from people, but it's well after the time that the club that I walk at Will be closed. Are you bloody mad? Still don't know where we're eating at yet. 
But I guess a surprise is better than nothing, right? Y'all, it's so nice out today. Okay, baby. Let me tell you something. These men is out here in their Wuchi Daddy shorts. You understand? Yes, ma'am. Love to see it. Love to see it. Such a pretty day outside. Oh, y'all. So why, you know, how I like to do my little accents or whatever. Why is August doing a country accent, y'all? He like, I ain't man. I ain't man. I gotta get on camera for y'all one of these days. I really do, cause it's hilarious. Like the boy is funny. I asked him. I said, "You like talking like that?" He said, "No." I said, "So why do you talk like that?" Cause it's my fool man voice. I said, "So you a fool?" He said, "Yes, he is." You said it, not me. Okay. You said it, not me. Yes, sir. All right, back to my toys. I feel like I'm trying to do too much. So I'm just going to sit my, my, my behind right here. Uh huh. And, um, wait for this man to come down here. Hopefully he don't take too long because he'd like to take his sweet time. Okay. Oh, there he goes. Hello. Make sure my light was there. Uh, uh, Try. yeah. Thank you. Oh, you're such a gentleman. Look at you. You know, you're lit time. <laughs> take your gas real quick. And then you can let us know where we're eating at. Did you pick? Mm -hmm. Did you really? Or are you just telling me that to hush me up? Both. <laughs> <laughs> if that's the case, I need to. I need to know because I need to stop somewhere and get a snack. You know, I got to eat before I eat. Like my stomach is in my kneecaps. You smell delicious. How the hell you look at the same videos, y'all? To the right, to the right. Why, um, why August was singing the cha-cha side the other day? Now he was really getting into it. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. Thought today was St. Patrick's Day, but it's tomorrow. We won't know. I want this man to stop talking to I just want some money, man. Yeah, I want you to stop I'm just going to sit pretty until he comes. I love going to the gas station with a man. You don't have to do too much. Well, you're not supposed to do too much. Y'all, my stomach is in my back. This man loves me. This is my favorite water. I think I gotta go in there and give me some chips or something. Cause I need. I think I need to go in there and give me some chips or something. I feel like I'm finna fall out. Some chips or a candy bar. I'm not myself when I'm home. Okay, so you gonna tell the folks? You ain't gotta be in the camera because I know you don't like being in the camera like that. But you gonna tell the folks what we eating and what you pick because you picked this. What the fuck? Uh, I'm recording right now. Just talk out loud. So where are we going? What's it called? Oh my god! Hold on. Let me pay yeah. this so now you gonna act? Shy. Like, I've been recording. So now you gonna act shy? Like you can't just talk? They don't so even you see you. You should never told me. You should never told me. They can't even see you though. I know. What's going on, YouTube? <laughs> Watching them videos. <laughs> go ahead, babe. Go ahead. Do what you do. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
I'm gonna let you when, when you when you. I know my bad, my bad, dog. Hey, hey, bit dog, my bad, my bad. When you get back into your groove, you just it's it's there when you ready. But you scared the hell out of me. Go. <laughs> I was like, what the hell just happened? Did you go say that? Oh, okay, okay. You got me doing this young soul shit. Okay, and when it brings us a check, then what? Then I'm gonna be in the camera like. Okay, exactly. Okay, well, since you won't say it, I'm gonna say it. <clears throat> we on the way to Wheezy's. You hot? The fans not on this one. No, you you scared me on the way here. Okay, not too much. It wasn't that scary. Did we hit anybody? Damn near. No, we didn't. I had to press the brakes. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll have to edit that out because you're tripping. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to Wheezy. Since y'all heard that for the 500th time, we're going to see what they're talking about. No, who is that? It's working on it. It's working on it. It's working on it. Yeah. Hey, I was gonna tell you I was gonna Did you just pull out some coins? <laughs> some junk. Yeah. What what you need? How much you need? Money. <laughs> you said you just pull out some coins? <laughs> <laughs> no time is getting hard around here. Oh Lord. I know it's getting hard around here. That shit ain't getting that hard. No, I'm, I'm talking shit. We know you good, big dog. I don't think I'm gonna bring my camera in just because it seems like it's a lot going on, but I will record on my phone. Okay, so we had to go to this gas station real quick because you can um, smoke in this establishment and he likes to roll him up on. I'm going to be puffing on my hookah, okay? Baby, pass me the hookah. But y'all, he just went in the gas station. Why, as we're driving out, I see someone else I was chit-chatting with. I don't know if you've seen me. You know, in the front of my car is fishbowl in the back is tenant. I don't know if you've seen me. I don't know. You know, I don't know what he about to do, but hopefully y'all... You keep it cute because don't check me when you ain't doing your part. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I don't care to clarify nothing. I don't care to say what it is and what it ain't, especially when I feel like I've already said what it is and what it ain't a few times, right? And you still don't get it together. But y'all, but if it come down to time to pick a side, I'm, I'm with my man today, okay? He the only one that know how to act right. I'm with my man today. Pray for me. Mm hmm Pray for me. Right. Okay, well. Let's see how this play out. I feel like in Atlanta, when people are more concerned about the vibes, they don't be concerned about the food. You get what I'm saying? And the consistency of the food don't be what it should be because they so worried about the vibes and all the people that's in there. But once I see, this shit seem new though. We might have caught the. That's what I'm saying. We might caught the earlier. Which could still be a good or bad thing. That's what I'm saying because. Yeah. <laughs> when it's new, they still trying to get on their feet. Yeah. If it's been here for a minute and it's just a mixy place, that's a whole nother ball game. But hopefully, the food is alright. You have reservations? Uh uh. Yeah, I feel like the biggest thing for me, I think, is just like. Yeah. It's a good sturdy little, you know. It definitely is. 
do anybody tell y'all like they feel like they at the grown up's table and they they not supposed to be here? Like that's how I feel right now. Like, mom, that's how I am on this. That's, that's how I am because I'm short. Yeah, I'm like I need a booster or something. That was cute. Yeah, it was cute, for sure. But like I said, we go back in a couple months and <laughs> see that's gonna be the real test. Cause I mean, if you don't want to, you ain't got to. I just don't, don't, don't be passenger driving and shit. <laughs> don't do that one. Okay, I guess, I guess you, you did okay. You did all right. TikTok, did all right. <laughs> Bebe, you, you love to be like, it don't matter. It don't matter. We don't. I know it don't matter, but come on, we still got pics. I mean, we can't both be indecisive. <clears throat> exactly, just me. No. <laughs> <laughs> Now you know you know when I know what I want. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know I'ma say it. Right. But when I don't, I need you to meet me halfway. We can't both be like, I don't know. So who who um who called me this show? Mike Epps. Mike Epps. DC on Fly. Okay. Uh D Ray Davis. Who else? Chico Ben, Carlos Miller. Okay, okay. I liked it, the other um comedy show we went to when they had the, the performances in between. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit was straight. That was a vibe. It was like a comedy show on a concert. <clears throat> you know, Facts. Like, nah, I definitely think that shit gonna be funny. Hopefully we can actually uh, actually hear them. Cause remember we couldn't Facts. really hear them like that. It was pissing me off because it was like people was laughing. And I want to laugh too. Facts. I forgot about that shit. But as a whole, it was a vibe. It was cool. Shit, a nigga did here. <laughs> right. <laughs> this technology. If you don't know what you're doing, just say that. Shit. Okay. I ain't gotta say it. <laughs> Clearly. We are at TJ Maxx because I wore a sundress and I ain't bring no jacket or nothing. I know it's gonna be cold in that arena too. How you feeling? I hate how like pigeon toe and bow legged I am sometimes. <laughs> a little bit. I'm about to try to find me a whole sweatsuit. I hope you know that. <laughs> I swear to God. I'm trying to get comfortable. We got kicked out the Uber. No, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> no, we was going to be sitting in line. She could have definitely just went around like all this traffic. You know what I'm saying? Just to get us close to the light. Yeah. And we could have just walked, but it's cool. A little exercise don't hurt nobody. Yeah, I'm glad we did uh, go get some sweaters. When we get out of this mug, it's gonna be chilly. 
You be talking about you don't fuck with Raj, you get on a Ferris wheel? Yeah, we do that. We go in the lane. I mean, we ain't gotta do it tonight. <laughs> 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 I thought you were ready. <laughs> <laughs> I forget what you activated. You activated. I ain't playing with you. I ain't gonna sit for at night. <laughs> well, let's go. <laughs> Hungry. Hey, can't wait to eat and get some drink. Yes, sir. I don't think I'll ever get used to people being in my face. Like staring me down. I wish I would have brought my microphone, but I didn't bring my microphone, so. Okay, so <coughs> I found some pizza. They got pizza, nachos. Got some all type of vibes. This shit looks sad though. Yeah, I want a pepperoni. And I want nachos. Okay. I might come back and get some popcorn later. LOL. <laughs> you know what I mean? He got that shit on, he can't say steal. <laughs> Hold my nigga trying, dog. You ain't get no money. Who? Who? I ain't get no goddamn money. You gonna turn up in this bitch? What's up, AGL? Okay, y'all. So, um, my phone was starting to say I didn't have any more storage. So, um, I tried to get as much as I could while I could, but I just want to say thank y'all for tuning in. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the How She Tastes video of the full review of the Wheezy, of Wheezy's um, that we went to. And um, yeah, it was a vibe. Um, the comedy show was hilarious, y'all. I literally cried like, laugh cry like crying laughing can't talk <laughs> as always i was literally was crying laughing like majority of the show it was great but the video is already about an hour long so i just want to say thank you again bye